Doctor, another point that you hit is that athletes, on the average, seem to die earlier than your average yes. couch potato. Yes, our library. Seems odd. Why, yeah, why is that? Well, it's just the opposite of what you think. And, and it's because people really don't understand physical um, physiology, physical physiology. Mm -hmm. um, and that is this. Um, with the exception of the three black guys from the old Negro Baseball League back in the 1920s, there's never been a professional athlete who lived to be 100. Now, that should mm -hmm. begin to give you a clue. It's red flag. Now, these guys mm -hmm. are getting paid to train and work out. They're getting the best food, the best trainers, personal physicians, team physicians. I mean, they have it all, right? They're being paid to work out, sure. and they get the best. But yet, the average lifespan, when you take all sports, is 62. The new statistics out for Canadian professional football players is 51. <clears throat> Reggie Lewis, who was the captain of the Boston Celtics, died at 28 of a cardiomyopathy heart mm -hmm. attack, a simple nutritional deficiency. Um, let's see here. Walter Payton died at 45 waiting for a liver transplant for, mm -hmm. from a simple mineral deficiency disease, which I treat all the time. We can reverse that disease in a few weeks or a few months with a simple supplement, and he died waiting for a, a liver transplant. Mm -hmm. And then we just recently had a 16-year-old boy, Wes Leonard, uh, from a, a little high school in Michigan. Uh, there were two teams fighting for the last slot in the playoffs to be the state champions. This just happened a couple of months ago. Yep. And Wes Leonard was 16 years old, and the teams was 55-55 at the last buzzer, so they had to do a, a, a prophetic term, sudden death playoff, right? So he catches the, pit, uh, the tip off three or four dribbles down to the basket, slam dunks it, and like three seconds after the whistle to start the sudden death, he gets the winning two points, 57-55. His teammates are lifting him up because they're so excited, and he drops dead of a cardiomyopathy heart attack. The same thing that Reggie Lewis did, mm -hmm. what, uh, 17 years earlier. And see, the medical system hasn't learned anything because we eliminated that disease in children 25 years ago in China. In China, these cardiomyopathy heart disease that these athletes die from is called Kishan disease. It's one province <clears throat> doesn't have the selenium in the soil there. And these kids, like 13 out of 100, are dying from this heart disease when they're little kids. So my wife and I went there in China, and we did 1,200 autopsies on these kids, on kids under the age of 10. And the Chinese government now gives every kid this trace mineral when they come to class. They haven't lost another kid in 25 years, okay? Because the government makes sure under penalty of severe punishment if the teacher fails to give those kids that pill every day. Here we have these kids, we've known this in the animal industry for 60 years, Scott. For 60 years we've known the cause, prevention, and cure for this disease. And yet medical doctors say, well, we give them uh, electrocardiograms before each season. We just need more physicals. That'll do it. Well, no, it won't do it because they know nothing about nutrition. They don't realize that when you sweat, you're not sweating out water. You just drink water, you're going to die. Whether you're a roofer in the summertime, mm -hmm. and it's 120 degrees up there on the roof, and you're sweating like a pig, or you uh, unloading uh, trucks, or you work in a factory, you're doing physical labor on the road, or you're an athlete. If you're sweating, you're not sweating out water. Uh, sweat is a soup that contains all the nutrients floating around your blood. And if you're replacing that soup with water, what's happening to your nutritional reserves? Replacing the soup with water, your nutritional reserves go down, and when you reach a certain level, below a certain line, you die. There's another 19-year-old girl just died of um, a copper deficiency. She's 19 years old. Florida State University died of a ruptured aortic aneurysm, which is caused by only one thing. Well, two things. One, you get crushed against a loading dock by a truck, mm -hmm. or... Uh, uh, copper deficiency. We learned about that in Turkey, Scott. In 1947, we eliminated ruptured aortic aneurysms in Turkey in 1947. So she died of something that a turkey wouldn't even die from because medical doctors know nothing about nutrition. They all should be put in jail for it.